This is Tortuga, a pirate's tale. We're here on Xbox Series X. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So what are we getting here? It's a 4K resolution, 30 FPS, HDR support. It is a single player pirate experience where you are going about sailing your ship and sailing against other ships and trying to make your claim across a variety of different locations and well yeah make your mark in pirate history so let's go and turn around and intercept a boat like we're supposed to all the way off into the distance so it's a game with uh, turn-based combat when it comes to ship battles which is actually quite interesting and you'll see that in a little bit here and it's got some like story type content you make your own little flag you make your own pirate name you kind of create your own pirate journey and uh yeah it's kind of cool so i don't know if you might have heard of like sid Meier's pirates but it's uh it's kind of like that to a degree I would say but like a modern sort of take on it like it's kind of equal parts strategy equal parts kind of sailing around i mean it's definitely an intriguing take on the concept where is this thing at? oh it's over there okay let's position ourselves this way so like i said it's literal turn-based combat and you move around you sail you explore different places you choose different beginning areas there's different uh, loadouts, 18 different unique types of ships you can have. You can, like, approach and take other ships. Like, there's, uh, a lot going on to this one. And then you can, like, interact with towns. This is the Caribbean of the 17th century. The four colonial powers are going on. And stuff like that. Okay, maybe we should go the other way around and, like... We get into like position so we can like shoot this thing kind of. Hmm. I don't really want to do a boarding. My boarding parties have uh, not gone well. We've got a chain shot. Do some iron balls. Oh, it's it's sunk. Oh. Yeah, and all the achievements are odd. So that's, you know, that's that's a bit of a pain, too. They're, like, all 22 gamer score. It blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that? Eh. Well, we got everything we needed, so... Did we get everything? Yeah? Everybody, everything being taken? Yeah. That's, that's exactly what I want. Is it, is it confirmed that we're doing that? My cargo is zero out of whatever. Oh, so I don't have enough space or what? Oh, okay, it's confirmed. Oh, already. Hmm. That was just a small fish. Captain, now we go to town. Into town to fit ourselves out a bit. We're sure to find a few good seamen in the tavern. This is like Better obviously tutorial gameplay. I'm trying to just give you an idea of how it's like running and stuff. Like it does look pretty nice. I mean, it's got lots of detail to it. Yeah, it's it's, it's an interesting concept. Ooh, yeah, the towns are actually detailed. It really does seem like just a spiritual successor to, like, Sid Meier's Pirates, but, like, years later. I don't know if there's something that's been there in the meantime. Town overview, harbor master, tavern, governor. I mean, it's never a bad time to be in the, uh... Memories, don't it, Captain? You see that guy yeah. Right there? Buy a round. Like make a good captain. Just what we need. Break the ice. Maybe You're welcome, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's a lot going on to this, you know, and you get to customize and make your experience however you want. Where do I get a captain? The harbor master. Maybe we should go to the market first. He repairs the ships, sells upgrades, 
and sometimes one or another ornament. Yeah, goods bought and sold at the market. Wait, we can just press RB to switch between the tabs. That is a lot easier. So wood, are we do we need this stuff? At the market, we can sell everything we've captured. The market is also the easiest possibility to obtain provisions. I've never understood why any convoy wouldn't have a load of rum aboard. It would make so many things simpler. Hmm. Let's see. We, like, what should we even sell? Do we need all this stuff? I'm just, like, wondering if I should, like, take anything on, or... Hmm. Oh, wow. I got all kinds of stuff in this place. I didn't even notice all this. Well, we probably want to take a bit of grog. That would be a smart idea, right? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's actually like a lot of complexities to this. The Let them eat cake. Town lives here. If you want to keep on the right side of a nation, then those are the boots you'll have to lick. Here's also where you always find out what your current standing with the nation is. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to talk to the guy in the tavern again? We really could use another hand for navigating one of our ships. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. I'll go to the tavern. Fantastic. Your silver tongue always does the trick. Let's test his skill right away. You'll grab us another trade convoy. Hmm. I was actually wondering if there was anything I could, like, improve. Like, does this improve my ability to do stuff with additional sale? An additional sale always sounds like a good idea, but I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't know, just, just slightly don't have enough money. Uh, I guess we gotta go back to living the pirate's life. Well, I, actually, I wanna... I wanna cast off. They must look for more prey. More ships to take. Let us gain on this ship. This is actually kind of a neat little thing. You know, this is like little, literally be like a little pirate and stuff like that. They're so fast, and you can change like the game speed and stuff too. I'm coming for you, ship. I don't know why you're going so out into the open waters, but I'm think I'm really gaining. I've got some good speed going on here. I want to take out this pirate. And you do get, like, a huge area of, like, water and land that you can kind of, like, sail between. Like, there's actually, like, quite a few different areas. Um, like, little cities you can visit, little towns within this water area. You've got to be kidding me. How are you always, always keeping ahead of me? You are, like, you're like a smaller ship, I swear. You're right there. I think we might try to actually, like, board this time, too, to show off how the boarding is. My first boarding was a complete failure. We are going to have gone across the entire ocean before we could catch this stupid boat. How is it keeping up? Like, I guess because it's a smaller ship or something? Okay. Okay. We've we've got it. It's, it's, it's like we're practically on it. <laughs> Just imagine this chase in real life being like, whoa! Hmm, intimidate. To battle! Hmm. Should I be moving this ship? Yeah, okay, I guess I gotta... 
take turns on him. This is like a little ship in the middle of the ocean. You'd be just like begging for mercy. You'd be like, no! It's over. I have the wind. Yeah, I know about the different types. I've played Sea of Thieves. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a cool little thing. I like this. Should we try the, the grab shot? <sighs> it's resistant. Okay. Well, resistance is futile. I kind of want to board this thing. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to try boarding it with this other ship. Okay. Cause it's like a game of chance, basically, as you roll the dice back and forth. We doing like a double board? What? How many people do I have? Like 38, and they've got 33. Hmm. We have won the naval battle. And our fleet grows ever stronger. Although I, I think I was supposed to, uh... Yeah... I was, I was supposed to do that over in this area. Like, they literally, they swam so... Well, they didn't swim, but they literally boated away so fast. <laughs> and so out of the area that, yeah, I need to find some prey that actually exists. Within this boating territory, obviously. That's a big thing, eh? Okay, so we're finally... I think we're in the waters? Okay, good. Hey, because game speed's gotta be, like, back to normal. Does that count as easy prey? I think this ship here with the five is probably what we're supposed to be taking, but I'm a pirate, so I'm fine with attacking any other little pirate thing along the way. Seriously, I, I just, it's all part of the collection. Battle over the bay. Imagine just being in the town and seeing these, like, pirate ships going at it. Pretty intense, eh? It is kind of cool seeing the pirate ships uh, kind of sail, though. Fire! Oh, it's 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 gone. Oh, okay. That was that was quick. Hurricanes are we good? Ha ha! If it keeps going like this, we'll need larger treasure chests soon. 
I guess we gotta divide the booty. Let's get down to business. The cutthroats on our crew won't take it on the chin forever. At some point, they'll want to see a few gold coins too. Which means we'll have to divide the booty soon. Now we're back where we started again. And I thought it was just the rum that's making everything spin. Then we'll give the crew what they deserve. Drum up the folks and let's split up the loot. Sail back into town and we'll clear it up over a mighty swig at the tavern. Hmm. You're the captain, so you can also specify how much of the booty you want to share. The more the crew receives, the better they'll find it, of course. But a bit of advice from me. Don't give them too much. They'll get used to it. And hmm. next time, they'll expect just as much. With time, you and the captains are becoming more and more experienced. Ah. When you've amassed enough experience, you ought to split up the loot and invest the experience you've gained in new skills. Interesting. Now I want to do that, but... How many points do I have? Oh, I got skill points. Huh. No, I definitely want this stuff. Increases movement. Okay. What? Why does it keep... Oh, these menus. Okay, so easy rider. And, uh... Okay, then... Boarding Frenzy, but Boarding Frenzy, I want to, you know, level that up a bit. Okay. So, Captain, you probably thought you were done with divvying up the gold and could sail on now. Sadly, no. We still have to draw up articles of capture for our next cruise. We pirates just love our articles and codes. It's quite simple, too. You make a couple of wild promises to the crew, and the boys elect you captain again. But All right, so sink out. three ships and improve the ship. Pledges, okay. They'll hold it against you. Perfect. Well, then put your signature here, here, and here. I actually have to Do sign a document with my crew. Files? Good. Things can move on now. They sound needy. I've completed a task, of course. Okay, now can we improve this? On a Spanish ship that freighted gold and silver to Europe. He's an old geezer now. But he might have a few bits of useful information for us. That is, if your mug suits him. We've got to go to Port Royale. Oh yeah, this is gonna ruin my gamer score. Just ruin- oh no! It's an even amount, as long as I don't do anything else in this game. I am good. So I'm gonna sail. And hopefully not a thing will happen that will earn me an achievement. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool, you know, experience. Uh, I think it's kind of neat. I was trying to see if there's a way to, like, pop open kind of the map. Maybe we ought to stock up a bit in the next town or help ourselves from another convoy. Yeah, you can, like, attack other convoys, gain other points, make some money. You know, live the pirate life is just kind of a cool thing, right? In their pockets. Raise the tankards. We didn't doubt for a second. It really is easy to intimidate and cause problems for other ships out there, isn't it? And it's kind of a neat little pirate game. Again, it's you know, really along the lines of like uh better. Oh wow, no, they have a huge advantage against us. Enough of playing cards. Here we go. This is this is not going to go good. Full speed ahead. Is there an escape option? Do we flee. Hmm. I don't think this is going to go well. Hmm. That doesn't help. I think we're going to lose this battle. 